North Mountain Adventures is located on the edge of Riding Mountain National Park in Manitoba, Canada. In Season 3, we want to start close to home showcasing our craft with Black Bear Outfitting. Bear is our primary client offering and this year we welcome 23 hunters from across the United States to get up close and personal with Manitoba Black Bears. Season 3! We're going bear bait. Adventures is brought to you by Wolverine Supplies, Affon Optics, Dan Beaver Traffic Supplies, CNC Rentals and Recreation, Gem Insurance, Repromap Graphic Design, Badlands Gear, Stillwater Adventures, True North Trailers, Bankert Marketing, and these fine sponsors. What we decided to do since next weekend is really busy with a bunch of family coming out. We decided to come out a bit early, which in 19B we're allowed to bait year round. So we'll come out early and fill all the baits and we won't have on skidoo and we won't have to worry about it till after the long weekend. Well, as you can see, she's a little mucky out here after the snow. We're on bait run uh, number three. Guys come in a week. And uh, so far we hit up two spots and uh, they're both been hit. So we're on number three. And we're gonna put a new couple extra new baits up today. So we'll be running about 21 baits this spring. And uh, we got 19 guys coming in as of right now. So uh, head into this bait, check her out. Bears don't have natural predators in the wild, so a critical piece of their management relies on hunting. Whether it's the misconception that bear meat isn't good, or the sheer time involved in setting up to harvest a mature bear, Manitoba bear hunters are not large in numbers. Similar to our interest in hunting a foreign animal, black bears attract a lot of attention from stateside hunters, where bears either don't exist or aren't plentiful in size or colors. So to some degree, our bear management hinges on the ability to host American bear hunters. Me look weak. Two bags, and I just carry this. You want a bag or what? Ah, uh, sure. You carry the grease, and I'll carry the bag. Sure. Put it on the other shoulder. I get that. I get that. <laughs> you won't make it. Make a man out of him yet. How's that boy? Good walk. <laughs> oh, check the cutty back out. Looks like some solid bear tracks.
Let's see what size he is. How big do you think he is, Jade? 300? I don't know. He had a pretty good track. Yeah, he's a good size. Was this caramel drip? Caramel drip from Dam Beaver? Yep, caramel drizzle. Drizzle. Smells good. Smells great. All right. This is what happens when you let your sun dry. No, here you. Well, Debbie shot last night and uh, we opted to leave it out. So hopefully this gal has a bear yeah. laying in the bush, which we did find a bed, so it's looking good. Me and Cole went ahead, left the guys back and uh, we tracked them down and uh, we got, Debbie's got herself a bear, so she doesn't know yet, but uh, we'll see. Hopefully she's pretty excited, which I'm sure she will be. Yep. Over here. Debbie. Yes. Got him. All right. <laughs> Woo, I'm glad. <laughs> Good Lord. I'm very excited. We'll take excited. a look. Good job, Greg. You did good. <laughs> Your first bear? Yep. Good job. Deb came to us from Missouri as a first time bear hunter. So we were grateful to locate her bear and excited to add black bear to her list of big game harvests. Hunting black bear up in Manitoba, North Mountain Adventures. Got a couple really nice bears coming in. Hoping we'll get lucky tonight. Stay tuned. Well, we are in week two, and I got Chad Hartwig with me and Jeremiah Johnson. That's right, you heard it right. Jeremiah Johnson. And uh, we're heading into the bear stand for night two. And uh, last night the boys saw lots of bears. They were just waiting on big ones. So let's hope uh, Jeremiah can connect tonight.
first bear. Nice, pretty chocolate. Haven't gone down to look for it yet, but just gorgeous. <laughs> and then nothing for a long time. And I was like, well, it's about seven o'clock, 7.30. This is when it happened, started happening last night. And then that little blonde, she actually ran away when you pulled in here. That little blonde came in, her buddy with the, the patch came in. And then all of a sudden, and the sun's right behind him. And I'm like, oh my God, he's as big as a freaking Jeep, <laughs> right? The sun's behind him and, and they're, oh man. And he just came in and he had knocked, <laughs> the, he had knocked the barrel over already. And he's standing right here. And I could see the entire barrel under his legs. I'm like, yeah, that's my bear. <laughs> <laughs> and that big old broadhead looked like, it looked like this big old chunk of steel in the sunlight just. <laughs> and you could hear it just rip. <laughs> but he took off like a bat out of hell. What no. way did he go? He's, he's right over there. Okay. It is the hardest, possibly the hardest thing I've ever done in my life to not go look for that bear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Uh, but yeah, it's freaking awesome. Now let's not get excited yet. <laughs> we need to find a bear first. Okay. Take your ball. Good ball. This is getting released, huh? <laughs> My guy's a wreck. Mr. Calm, cool, and collected. <laughs> Ooh, I was shaking so fucking bad. <laughs> and the thing is, I, I wasn't nervous at all when I shot him. You know it was what I mean? Afterward. Yeah, he comes in and I, I you'll see on the video, he was he dicked around for a while to give me a shot. How big is he? Is he a good one? I think by now I should know I can't size a bear very well. <laughs> but but it really helped when he came in next to his other two. Yeah. He's not a ton. He's not like 200 pounds bigger than them. But it was like, oh yeah, that's a heavy bear. Was he the one you saw last night or? Yeah. Yeah. I said, that's my bear, eh? <laughs> <laughs> and old Betsy said, hey. <laughs> yep. Blood there. Yeah. Ran right down this trail or what? Oh man, it's long blood and a lot of it. See that? What? It's bubbly. Yeah, I do. Yeah. That's probably where you heard the first. Ooh, and then. Well. We, uh, we tracked and we tracked and we tracked and uh, he was shot a little low. So what we figured out, I was within 10 yards of him probably. And uh, we got the rifle up and, and uh, he managed to just hide in the willows. So I backed off and uh, got uh, Jeremiah so that he could finish him off and he made a good perfect double long shot with the rifle to finish him so we got him we worked for him but we got him here we are uh packing out this beautiful color phase bear really tough conditions for getting this thing out of here blow her up congratulations jeremiah look at this thing huh Bear down. Bear down. No ranger. 
couldn't go through that stuff we just went through. <laughs> <laughs> nice job, Craig. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you guys. Thanks for the help. North Mountain Adventures, awesome. It's day one. I was just getting, getting settled in. I'm here in Manitoba with North Mountain Adventures. Before I even got all my camera gear set up over this bait site. I, uh, I had a really pretty, like a light chocolate bear that kind of hung out behind me for a good bit. It didn't really want to commit to the bait. I didn't really love that I was here. It's actually still sitting behind me right now. I think it's one of the smaller bears that's been in here. It's, it's not a bear I want to take on day one, so. It was really cool to watch it kind of work around me, kind of feel things out. Bears are so cool. One of my favorite things about bears is just how unique they are. And it's so different from hunting like white-tailed deer. This bear knows I'm here. I promise he can hear me talking. And he can smell me. almost cry a tank of a chocolate bear. Just came working down a trail to my right here. It's funny how mature animals just, they even just walk different. And he was very decisive. He was walking through these trees. He had about 25 yards, looked up, saw me, and went, no. It's day three. We scared that chocolate bear that's been in here every day for a long time coming in, so I assume we'll see him again. The big bear that we're hunting, he's pretty smart. So if we see him, I bet it's late, but there's a big chocolate bear that's been coming in. Greg estimates him to be over 300 pounds. Fingers crossed that we get to see him tonight. A decent sized black bear. It's about 25 yards away. It's not as comfortable as that little chocolate. He's a little bigger. He looks like he's like 220. Just rolled through and picked up some beaver. I'm still not seasoned in judging bears. So I'm hoping that I get a chance to be patient. I don't think I want to shoot that bear. But I might get a shot. Get a better look at him, I might change my mind. If I don't shoot a bear, I might regret that one. It's a really pretty black bear. He came back in, grabbed some more bait, set up for a perfect broadside shot. But he didn't act super comfortable either. It's a really big chocolate bear that I keep referencing that I feel like might show up tonight. I'm gonna hold out for him and hope he shows up.
If you can hear that, that's a death mode. <laughs> and doesn't even feel real. But that bear's dead. It's been said, do what you love, love what you do. As we inch into bear season each year, the excitement is palpable. And from the moment we shake hands with our stateside friends, it's game on. We're grateful to do what we do and proud to help represent what outfitting looks like here in Manitoba.